Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to print logs in console as well as in file using Robo framework. So let's start. Here you'll create a file log demo dot robo and you start with your first test case here test case and then here this is your log test now here you can say log and give four spaces one two three four this is the uh, keyword provided by robo framework and uh, here you can say this is log line okay now when you say this and you can run this program uh, using this option if you don't see this option that means your extensions are not uh, configured properly your visual studio setup uh, does not have the required extensions and uh, if you want to uh, set up all those things on your computer just uh, go to the description of this video where I have mentioned the link to the video which will guide you to uh, enable or complete this setup uh, complete this Visual Studio code setup for Robo framework okay now uh, let's run this program here you can see the console output is here and the log demo test uh, log test test case uh, is passed and uh, logs are stored at this location you can also see the new files are generated over here now if you go to if you right click here and say rebuild this file in explorer you can see this file here and when you open this you can see the log is stored in the file which is a very presentable log from uh, robo framework now if you want to print log on this console you will say log to console here i just need one space okay and one two three four four spaces between the keyword and the value okay and run this program now here you can see the log is printed in the console and if you refresh this page now you can see the logs in file as well okay uh, friends uh, if you like this video if this video helped you subscribe to this channel hit that like button and let us know your thoughts in comment section because we love to hear from you Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.